Right, he's got a guitar. <laughs> we shall begin by performing one of the finest horror plays. I want you all to imagine that it is the spookiest night of the year. October the 31st, Halloween. Hello, my name's not Ian. <laughs> no, imagine it. Spookiest night. Are there cattle in? I think there are. <laughs> This is the spookiest night of the year. The appropriate night for this play. October the 31st. Halloween. Hello, my name's still not Ian. Do you, <laughs> do you not understand the meaning of the word Halloween? I don't think so. Okay, let me explain. On this night, can I guess? Go on then. On this night, yeah, we go out into the streets. Yeah, and say hello to people called Ian. No. No. What happens is we go out into the streets dressed as Ian, not as Ian. Now how could you dress as Ian? Bloody hell does Ian look like? No. We'll go out into the streets dressed as Ian Paisley. We could go out dressed as Ian Paisley and we could say Ulster says Halloween. And no. Did, did you seriously think that was what the concept of Halloween was all about? It was admittedly a long shot. No. Now what happens is we go out into the streets dressed as Ian Beale, not as Ian Beale. We go out into the streets dressed as Ian Ogilvy. Who the bloody hell is Ian Ogilvy? He used to play the saint on the telly. I thought Roger Moore played the saint on the telly. He did. But this isn't Hannah Roger, is it? This is Halloween. <laughs> yes. And on Halloween, hello, what? What actually happens is we go out into the streets, dressed as Ian Lavender, not as Ian Lavender, we go out into the streets, dressed as Sir Ian McKellen, not Sir Ian McKellen. We go out into the streets, dressed as Ian Duncan Smith, we don't dress as any bloody Ian's. No, no, that would be silly. Yes, good, I'm so sorry, ladies and gentlemen, because if we're dressed as Ian, and we're saying hello to Ian. <laughs> Ian is going to see us dressed as him, saying hello to him. That's going to freak him out. <laughs> Whatever. So, on this night, whose name we have already discussed, what actually happens, what actually happens, is we go out into the streets dressed as ghoulies and can I stop you there? <laughs> Dressed as a ghoulie. <laughs> it's traditional. We go out dressed as how have we managed to live this long without coming across this bizarre nocturnal testicularly attired Ian Britain? <laughs> I don't know what we do tomorrow. Dress up as fannies and say hello, Barbara. <laughs> no, would you stop being stupid? You started it. Look, are you going to do a spooky horror play or what? Whatever you say. Right, right. So. Now we present for for all Hallow's Eve. We present. Are we saying Hallow Steve now? Jesus God! <laughs> shit on a plate, would you please? We now present Bram Stoker's Gothic Horror. Gothic, yeah. Bram Stoker's Gothic Horror. Frick, we're not doing grunge. No, we're not doing grunge. We're doing Gothic Horror. Can we, can, can, can we do emo? No, we're not doing emo. We're doing Bram Stoker's Gothic Horror. Oh, can we do happy hardcore house? You don't do happy sweary wordy hardcore sweary wordy house on Hello Sweary Wordy Eve! <laughs> I thought it was Hello Sweary Wording Steve again! Again! You've done it again! You've done it again! What did I do? What did you do? You did what you always do! You didn't take it seriously! Oh. Oh, I'll take it seriously now. It's too late now, isn't it? It's too late now. I was about to do some proper acting. Proper acting? Aye, I was going to be Count Dracula. Who, who was I going to be? You were going to be the famous vampire hunter, Van Morrison. Oh. <laughs> Even got some special vampire teeth. Show us your vampire teeth. No, you'll take that piss. <laughs> oh, show us your teeth. You promise. I go on. Okay. Having fun down there with the vampire teeth. Fuck your face. <laughs> what is that expression supposed to mean? Nothing. Those are very impressive vampire teeth. Hello, where's Ian? Hello, Ian. Oh, listen! Can we have less of your fannying about? 
about. They like my fannying about. They don't like your fannying about. They laugh when I do my fannying about. This is Bath. When they laugh, they're being ironic. <laughs> we can have a look at a wee bit of horror if you like. Oh, God, because they want blood. No, 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 they don't want blood. We can have a look at the history. No, 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 they want blood and guts. You want blood and guts, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, come on, these people want to see somebody getting their fingers cut off. Yes, wouldn't somebody getting their fingers cut off be counterproductive? <laughs> In our instance, I hadn't really thought, you hadn't thought that through, had you? Know, see, he's a big fan of your splatter and slasher movies. I love the splatter, I love the slasher. Yeah, but no, it's all full of the cliché. Yeah, full of cliché, full of blood. No, just, this says cliché, that. You see, the, the, the splatter and slasher genre features such clichés, let's sing it. What? Whatever you are about to say to them, do it in song. Go get the piano. You sing whatever it is you're going to sing. Now you're laughing and I'm not. I know it's a mystery to me too. You go get the piano. Okay, I'll, I'll trust you on this one. Trust, trust me, ladies and gentlemen. You don't want to hear him doing a boring lecture on the subject. A nice piano, thank you very much. What I was going to say is that your horror movies, your slasher movies, feature such cliches as I am a serial killer. And you finally murdered me to death. I'm lying in a bath, and the movie's all over. And then I come back and stab you with my last breath. <laughs> I write the films with all those bad cliches. Where they say, don't go in the woods, and they go anyway. See, stop it, stop it, stop it. 